Hi everyone. Today we've gone ahead and released our brand new Prime Seller Leads dashboard. I'd like to go over it with you and show you all the new features that it has. So the very first thing that basically controls the whole dashboard is the date range. So right here in the middle of the, day, uh, the page where it says please choose a date range, if you go ahead and click on it, you've got some different options. We can choose by today, yesterday, last seven days, last 30 days, this month, last month, or an actual custom range of dates that you choose to put in there. So by whatever date range you have in here, it will go ahead and control all of the information that's being shown on the dashboard itself. So for right now, we have it set to the last 30 days. So if we go ahead and change that to the last seven days, you'll see that the dashboard is going to go ahead and update and reflect the new information just for that time period. So let's go ahead and put it back on the last 30 days. Now, let's start at the very top and go over all these new features that are on the dashboard. At the very top and left-hand corner, if you click that at any time, you'll be able to go back to the dashboard itself, to this page. Moving over to the right, you'll see that we have a badge with the number one here. This is showing us the latest news items from Prime Seller Leads being sent to you. So whenever we announce a new news item, you'll be able to see it automatically here in your dashboard. You'll see a badge letting you know that there's a new news item for you. If you go ahead and just click on it, that will give you a pop-up showing you the news item and the date. Once you go ahead and read all your news items, that badge will disappear and there will no longer be any new news items. Moving over, uh, you'll see an icon here. We can go ahead and upload a new icon for your profile image. So you can choose anything you'd like to appear right there. Next button is for your profile, just like it normally was before. So all of your information will be set when we set up your site for you. However, if you'd like to change your name or email address or your text email or phone number or whatnot, this is where you would do it from. You can also go ahead and change your password or log out. Now moving down, we have five new boxes here at the top center of the page. Now there's various different information here. So let's start with full leads. Full leads, this number here at the bottom that says 114 full leads, that's going to go ahead and that's going to show us the amount of full leads from this date range that we have chosen. So the last 30 days in this instance. This badge with the number two at the top, that number will always reflect the number of full leads for today. So at a quick glance, you can see the number of full leads that you had during your chosen date range and also the number of full leads for today. So it's the same thing with the partial leads. This number of 126 at the bottom is showing us the amount of partial leads for this date range for the last 30 days, May 28th to June 26th, and this badge with the number one in the top right hand corner is showing us the amount of partial leads for today. The next box is showing us the average home price for a full lead that you have received. So for this site, it's $284,203 is the average price for a full lead. Next box is showing us the exact same amount of in same information but for partial leads. So it's showing us the average home price for a partial lead which is $354,920. Finally, the last box is showing us the total amount of page views or visitors that have come to the site during this specified date range right here, so in the last 30 days. Now, just as a quick aside, as we move on, showing page views and total visitors, we only started collecting this data a few days ago. So for those of you who have had your site for two months or three months or six months, you're not going to be able to see the total amount of visitors or page views during that time because we just started collecting that information a few days ago. So from this point forward, that information will be accurate. But if you're going back into the past quite a while, that information was not collected, so it's not available. So the page views here or the total visitors is just for the past few days. But as I said, moving forward, you know, from this point forward, six months from now, you'll be able to look all the way back six months and you'll see an accurate number there. Moving on to this section here where it says total visitors. That is the amount of site visitors that you've had to your site during this specified date range right here that you've chosen. 
Beneath that, you'll see the amount of mobile visitors and desktop visitors that you've had during that time. So these two numbers for mobile visitors and desktop visitors will add up to total visitors. The next section is the top cities for leads or top areas for leads. So by the address, the city name of the address that your leads have entered, that will reflect here in this area. And so you can see exactly where your leads are coming from and which of your cities in your market have the most amount of leads during, again, this specified time period here for the date range that you've chosen. We can also zoom in on the map in this area. The next section beneath that is going to show us where your leads were referred from. So in this column here, so if we mouse over, we can see that these are full leads that we received from Facebook during the specified date range that we've chosen. This is Google, Bing, Yahoo, and this one here is showing you your direct traffic that came directly to your site. Uh, direct traffic could be uh, uh, it could be a referral from uh, an email blast that you might have sent out. Uh, it could be somebody that bookmarked your site and came back. Uh, it could have been from uh, it could have been from a share on Facebook or another social media platform. So any direct traffic that comes to your site without a refer that's either Facebook, Google, AdWords, Bing, or Yahoo, it will show up as direct traffic. The next section here is the latest news. So the last three latest news items will appear here. And these news items are also tied directly to this section up here. So whenever there is a new news item, it will appear here in this section. And it will match exactly what's here. So if you'd like to read more about any of these news items, you just simply click on Read More and you'll see a pop-up that shows you the date and what it's about and all of the information on that news item. Next, we have the latest uh, Prime Seller Leads videos that we've created. So we'll be regularly updating this section and we'll be putting not only the newest uh, Prime Seller Leads videos, but also the ones that, are, uh, that our users like to view the most. So uh, most likely getting started with Prime Seller Leads will always be here. And then we'll also have the newest videos that we've made as well. So we can see earlier today, I went ahead and made a video on the lead location summary map page and the new feature that we have. And you can see that that video is now in the featured location in this section. To watch that video, you just simply click the play button. And that video will then start. If you'd like to watch one of these videos here, again, you just go ahead and click it and you'll see a pop-up and the video will start. The next section, at a glance, shows you your last 10 leads that have come in. And you can scroll down to see the different leads that have come in during that time. So it just gives you a basic, quick, bird's eye view of the leads that have come in and the date and time of when they came in. Now, this bottom section here, or some of the bottom sections here, traffic by operating system and traffic by browser, again, just like the total visitors and mobile and desktop visitors, we've only been collecting this analytical in analytics information for a few days. So we don't have the historical information from several months ago. So these numbers right now that you're seeing are just a reflection of the past few days. So as more time goes by, more data will collect and the numbers will become more accurate and you'll have more data. But for right now, we only have been collecting it for a few days. So what we're able to see here is the actual traffic by operating system and how it's broken down. And then also the browsers that were used. So the traffic by browsers. The next section for you team leaders and brokerage owners uh, that assign leads to different agents that may be on your team or in your brokerage, at, at a quick glance you're able to see the actual top agents and how many leads they've received, full leads they've received, 
how many partial leads they've received, and the last time that they logged in. Now for this section, this is the only section on this page that is not controlled by the date range here at the top. So this section is actually independent of that date range. And by default, the top agent section will show all of the information for the entire time that your account has been open. So it's going to show you your top agents, um, and it's also going to go ahead and show you the amount of full leads and partial leads that they've had all time, and also their last login time. Now, if you'd like to break it down by a certain date range only for the top agents, you can simply go ahead and click the down arrow here, and you can choose a custom date range here. So we could put in, you know, like the last month, and then that section will then update automatically to show you the amount of full leads and partial leads during that time frame and who it's assigned to. All right. So let's move down to the next section. This is going to show us the email report for all of your drip email campaigns and autoresponders that you've sent out. So this report is very similar to the report that we show um, under the drip email section for the email reports, but here it is at a quick glance for you on the dashboard now. And of course you can mouse over and see any of the information. Now once again, the date range that's shown here corresponds to the date range that is shown at the very top of the page that you chose. So it's going to give us all of that information for that specific date range. Finally, down at the bottom, we're going to be able to see the top drip emails. We're going to be able to see the most uh, popular drip emails that have been opened or read during that time period, and the drip emails that, and the links inside of those drip emails, if you use that, that were clicked the most during that time period. So uh, most read is showing us the uh, emails that were read the most, uh, opened or read the most during that time period. And most clicked is showing us links, if you have actual links inside of that drip email that were clicked the most. So that's the rundown of the new dashboard. We're really excited about this. We put a lot of work into it. And we really think that it's going to help you and give you you know, a quick bird's eye view. All of you are busy, you're out in the field a lot, you're working leads. You might not have the time to actually dig in um, to the different reports because we have a lot of different reports and ways to break down the information in the back end. This gives you a quick bird's eye view of what's going on so that you can look at it quickly. So if you have any suggestions uh, of ways to make the dashboard better or if you have any questions or comments on it, we'd love to hear from you.